Next, we are going to learn how do you exit a for loop? Is it a necessity for us to exit a loop? Yes, sometimes. I'm going to give you an example and going to teach you how you can exit a for loop. So I am on a blank form and here I have kept a button. I'm going to double click on the button and the sub uh, private sub has appeared. Now let's write the for loop. How do you write the for loop? So for that you have you have to say for then you need to have a variable let me declare it as integer and then you say equals to and you put a counter let's say i'm giving a counter called one two three as a counter so this is how you write a loop and in the body this part is called body and in the body you would write whatever you like to do you would like to show a message box you would like to write some condition everything can be written in the loop that means while the loop is running what exactly would you like to do it should be written in the body of the for loop now let me create some space create some body now in this one let me give you an example let's say i would like to ask the user what is the capital of india that is a question i am going to ask and he would have four options and he has only three attempts so the loop will run three times so that means it will give him three options even if, if he goes wrong, it will give him three options. If his answer is correct, I want to exit out of the loop. So how do we do it? For this, what you need? You need a variable to hold the value of the input, right? You would like to show a uh, prompt to the user. And when he enters the answer, you would like to store it. So I will create a variable called A as string and leave it. Now here, let's use this a, a variable equals to, I'm going to say input box and let's ask the question, what is the capital of India? What is the capital of India? And here I'll give some options. So in the options, let's write few city names of India, Mumbai, New Delhi, uh, Goa, uh, Pune. So I've written few cities of India. So out of this one answer is correct. So this is going to give him the prompt. So once you give the prompt, the user will enter some amount, so some value, sorry. It will enter some value. For example, he might enter Mumbai, New Delhi, Goa, Pune, right? These are the options you have given and he might enter one of them. So here what you need, you need a if condition to validate whether his answer is right or wrong. So what I will do, I'll simply say if a dot two upper why i'm doing two upper he might type in various ways so i would like to convert everything to uppercase and then compare with the value if his answer is new delhi if his answer is new delhi whatever he enters however he enters it will convert to upper and check if his answer is new delhi then then what i would like to show i would like to show him correct your answer is right or correct new delhi is the capital of india so I would use a message box and I would write correct New Delhi is the capital of India. Correct. So this is what I would like to show. Now, if this answer is correct, I don't want the same question to be shown him again. I would like to exit. So this is where you are learning. How will you exit a loop? So you have to simply say exit for that's all and hit enter. So exit for. So you started with four. You are, you are in a loop and here you are saying exit for. So that means if this is met, if it comes inside this block, it is going to exit it. Clear? Now, there's also another condition here, else. So simply type else and hit on escape, hit enter. What if the answer is wrong? Then you would like to say incorrect. Try again. Message box dot show. I would show incorrect. Try again. Okay. So now if you look at the entire looping, how it works. So you have started your for loop right and there's an exit here if this condition met then this block of code will run the moment it runs here it comes here it will going to exit the loop it is not going to continue 
in case his answer is wrong then it is going to come here and show incorrect try again again it will the loop will continue how many times I have given three times so three times it is going to continue so three chances the user would have before he could answer a correct one let's save this run it all right i'm going to click on run and you can see the question what is the capital of india options are mumbai new delhi goa pune so let's say i'm going to enter a wrong answer let's say i'm entering goa so what happens incorrect try again it gave me another option second option let me try something wrong once again uh, let me say mumbai hit enter incorrect try again let me try some wrong answer once again so i am saying pune or i am typing something else okay so the moment i do this what happens it's going incorrect click on okay and the program has closed itself why because the counter the loop is set to three so three attempts has been given to the user and it is exiting automatically as per the loop now what if i am going to give a correct answer for example first let me enter a wrong answer goa so this is my first attempt went wrong let me give the right answer now let's say new delhi and i'm going to click on okay you can see correct new delhi is the capital of india at this point when you click on okay the loop is not going to work anymore it's going to exit the loop the moment you say the moment i clicked on okay it has exited the loop so this is the concept behind the for loop and exit so the keyword that you are you have learned in in this one is exit similar way we can also do this this exit can be applied for do while condition also do while loop there also we can use exit so let's see how that can be done 